What's up everyone, my name is Chase, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to AFK farm on Wizard 101 using a uh, auto farm that I developed recently. So I don't know if you saw or not, but previously I had also made a video on this. Um, it's doing pretty well, but I realized that I made a little silly mistake and forgot to hide my name. But basically, I developed this tool so that I could AFK farm much faster than just using a simple auto clicker. Because, um, yeah, with the auto clicker, uh, I'll demonstrate that. If I get into a battle and I decide not to move, it takes so fucking long to get back into another battle. I really hope he doesn't join. Okay, cool. So, let this finish up. Okay, so the battle's over, and normally, if you were just using a auto clicker, you'd be standing here, just still, AFK, and it takes a fucking century for this to stop. I really hope I don't get pulled into a battle. I'm gonna get fucking pulled. I have a feeling. This is gonna be terrible. But, see, it's still going. It's still fucking going. I might be fine. I might be fine, just because it takes that long. Holy shit, it's still going. Okay, cool. So that was a really long time, right? Like, that took forever. And when I was doing this, which is like an auto clicker, I noticed that, like, I'd be gone for a few hours, and I was still not done farming for fucking couch potatoes. Which kind of sucked, and was kind of annoying, because in a perfect world, I would be able to reset, uh, go pick up some mana, and start it over again. But... I would barely get any couch potatoes after farming like a whole day, which is kind of insane. Um, and you know, I got like life shit going on. I got things I got to do during the day and I cannot like legitimately farm this shit for 24 hours. You know, like I, I just can't. And if I want to get a pet because this shit right here, this motherfucker, I love him, but um, he's got to go. I've been using him since I started this whole fucking account on my Ice Wizard. Um, I just never cared to get into pets, but now I'd like a uh, Gulcher, and I've already started the process, but I need more Mega Snacks. So, my proposed fix to this is to get out of that um, cycle, you obviously have to move. If you move while you're intangible, or whatever, um, you reset really, really fucking fast. Like, you have about, like, five seconds before you get into another battle. You know, you gotta get out of there pronto if you don't want to get caught. But in this case, I want to get caught. So, let me load up the auto clicker that I made. Fucking excellent. Oh, great. Alright, so I've loaded up the auto farm that I made, and um, let me just go through it real quick. Also, I'd like to preference, this is not a virus, I promise. I know it looks like a 2011 Pixel Gun 3D, like, get a million coins, but actually, you don't get that, but you do get a Trojan, kind of, uh, shit, but um, yeah, it's not that, I'm just really bad at UI design. Um, anyways... Let me go over this real quick. So you have your click rate right here, and I highly recommend setting this at one because say you go down to like, I don't know, like 0.5 or 0.1, it's gonna bug out your mouse and make it go invisible. So I recommend setting this at one. Your toggle key can be absolutely anything. I don't give a fuck what you set it to. Just have it be something that isn't gonna press something else, I guess. So I'm gonna set mine to zero. And now you have mouse uh, repositioning. This is basically essential to be able to use it because how this script is working is it's going to continuously make you move to the right and to do that you have to press D. And the issue with that is if you don't have enough pips, um, while it's pressing D, your cursor is going to go to the right, to the right, to the right, to you know, to the next card, next card, next card, until it reaches the friends tab up here and that's where it would bug out. So, um, it won't go back, and it's just pretty fucking annoying. So, enable this so that whenever you start the script, it's going to automatically jump back. So you move it up here, jump back. Move it over here, it's going to jump back. 
jump back, jump back, you know? And it does that at every click per one second. So I'm gonna apply the changes. Um, I have a start and stop button. I don't really recommend using the start or stop because it's unnecessary. Um, I made it so that if you have mouse repositioning on and you click start because you're low goofball, um, it will stop the script. So you don't just get stuck infinitely. But um, yeah, I don't. you don't even need this. Just have a toggle key um, and enable mouse repositioning. I don't even know why the fuck I added that. I just added it. Um, anyway, so I applied the changes. As you can see, repositioning is enabled. Click rate is updated to one second and my toggle key is set to zero. So now let me go and demonstrate how this works. All right, so with those changes applied and the script open running in the background, let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna go get into a battle. Wait, I wanna make sure I pull both of them. Okay. So here we are in the battle and all you have to do is hover over a card. I like this one, you can do this one. I recommend not doing the middle ones because the cancel button pops up there and I haven't tested it, but it may bug it out if you start spamming cancel. So just put it over here. Um, and then I'm gonna start the script by pressing zero. So as you can see, the mouse repositioning is doing what it needs to do. It's jumping back here, back here. No matter where I move it, it's gonna jump back. And it is clicking at every second. So let's finish up the battle. Okay, now that it's over, you're gonna see me start moving, which immediately resets the time that I can get back into another battle. Um, I would have gone into another battle if that guy didn't just fucking pass, but as you can see, it is so much faster than the alternative. Like, I don't know the time difference between it, but it takes about like every four turns, um, your character resets to be able to get into a battle. Um, and the alternative takes like a fucking century, so, you know. I'd say this is a little better, a little more efficient. But yeah, it works uh, pretty fucking flawlessly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, in the last video that I uploaded, there was a few pathing errors that I had to fix. Um, nothing crazy, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, so fucking fast. Um, already back into a battle, but... Yeah, I just had a few bugs in the last one, and I made a few changes um, to just how the uh, log outputs the text. It just makes it look a little cleaner. I noticed that it would uh, show duplicates of whenever you adjust to the settings. So it was just like a little nitpick I had. But other than that, everything's still the same. Um, and I I was able to get um, a stack of 69... Um, couch potatoes within I think two days of doing this so it is so much faster and before I would maybe get like I don't know fucking 10 a day which it made me realize I need to do something about this because I'm farming all day and I only get 10 that's kind of fucking insane all right so I stopped the script and uh yeah I mean that's basically it there's really not much to it um all it's doing is moving you um, and auto clicking. It's just an auto clicker with movement to reset the timer and mouse repositioning to avoid any unnecessary or unwanted clicks. So also, um, if you guys want to run this through a virus scanner, uh, by all means, go for it. It will say that there are um, a few, what's it called, possible malicious scripts in my file. But that's simply because I am literally um, manipulating your keyboard inputs and mouse inputs and its positioning. So, I mean, if a bad actor wanted to do something bad with that, they could, I don't know, fucking like open up a CMD, put in their fucking script or something. I, you know, they could do a lot of bad with uh, what I am using to run this. So obviously it's going to be flagged. But if you do check on any signals being sent or received, there are no IP addresses or domains connected to this script. So there is no possible way I would be 
sending or receiving any signals from your computer. So, um, that, you know, you can use this at your own risk. The reason I'm saying this is because, yeah, things are going to pop up. Um, I can't control that. There's literally nothing I can do about that. I promise this is safe, but hey, if you don't want to use it, then don't use it. I don't really care. Although I did get a lot of good reviews in my last video. The comment section looked great. I also want to say I appreciate everyone's support from my last video. Um, I didn't expect it to do so well. Actually, it did so well that it made me want to remake this so that I have my name hidden because I thought it was going to get like 100 views and it got like close to 2,000 within three days, which was, uh, I mean, not nothing crazy, but <laughs> way more than I expected. So that's the whole reason I'm making this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. Uh, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and found it beneficial or helpful. Um, I would say to leave a like and subscribe, but I don't really give a fuck. This channel's dead, so I'll see ya.